Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. This is a price analysis update on Zillica. We'll take a look at both the USDT and the BTC pairings and identify a few key levels where we could potentially invest, what's gone in the past, and then we'll have a look at some key levels above and maybe even a little bit of a price prediction thrown in there too. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. This video is in partnership with Cointelegraph's Markets Pro. I've got a full platform review within the front page of my YouTube channel, so go ahead and check that out. Lots of things going on. They've got something called a Vortex Score and Newsquakes, and it does give you that, that one step ahead feeling of the rest of the crypto market. You can, you can get to see historically what's going on throughout the market. So go ahead and check that out. You'll find a link in a pinned comment and the description. So this is Zilliqa Tether daily time frame i'm using my huobi chart here as i have always done i just feel like as um, most of the data i think the the binance chart has um, a little bit less data than the huobi chart so looking at this starting off at the money flow now money flow indicator is showing that we are in positive territory from the 19th of august so we're coming to that that's four weeks now that we're in positive territory even though we've got a massive slight wick there that wick there by the way was just for bitcoin dump and Unfortunately, that's the way the things go currently. When Whatever Bitcoin does, the current market does. I'm expecting throughout this coming quarter for Bitcoin to go on a real rally. The US dollar pairs will rally up with it. But once Bitcoin hits a peak, I really think that altcoins will start to see some major growth. And that's on their own. Individually, I think we'll start to grow. And whatever Bitcoin does... I think altcoins will outperform it. And that's going on towards the end of the year, but need to just identify that now. And, and that's my feelings on the entire thing. So looking at a price, we're currently at 10 cent, around 0 0.0108. And we are within a range. So we have a high range here, uh, around 12.8 cent. We have this lower range here at 8.4 cent. Um, and things aren't looking too bad. We are pretty much now range bound. So if we just look at this entire move here, if we look at this within terms of, um, we'll go that low there to that high and move it across. Look what we are doing now. We are pretty much sat on the EQ. So the EQ is the equilibrium. That is the, the central range where it is pretty much um, the mid trading point. And that's where we are currently. And we are using it as support. That wick has touched it to um, precision. If we're looking for some buys though, we need to have a look at some potential areas we could invest. For me, this is a bullish sign that we are now trading above the equilibrium, the EQ. I think it's a real good sign, but we just have to put a little bit of a bearish phase on this. And we'll just drop down to a four hour. And we just have a zoom in and have a look at this entire move here and see what's going on. So in terms of Fibonacci, from this low point down at 9.6 cent up to that peak, we've actually lost this 382 level. And we've come down, we've double bottomed here at around 10 cent. I think 10 cent is the new bottom. I mean, if I were ever looking for buys, you know me, I love the golden ratio. And if I were looking for buy, I would target that region at 618. So depends on the market does. I mean, the market's looking good. If you want to be a little bit cheeky and just think uh, I'm happy to wait it out, put a few orders in here. There's no reason, um, no harm or no harm in putting some orders in at 10.4 cent. Uh, I think it could be a good idea, um, and that's where I would look at buying. But I think, to be honest, I think this 382 level is also a great buying point. So for now, I think this at 10.09 cent is a, it's a great buy, considering where we've been in the past. If we just go back to a daily. And we'll have a zoom out and see where we've been in the past. So the all-time high, is, God, we need to do some right zooming out, don't we? We've been up to 26 cent, which is a great level. And looking at Fibonacci there, so let's get video for now. Um, that will give us a clear level in the future to aim at. But that's a buy zone. I would honestly um, buy anything I could at 10 cent and then wait long term because I think this is going to fly. There's a lot of things going on with Zilliqa recently. And there always has been. I mean, Zilliqa's um, a solid project, and it's just dropped out of the limelight a little bit. Things like solid, um, Solana and Avalanche starting to pick up and do really well, and let Zilliqa itself is a layer one solution. I think what's held it back is that bridge, that Ethereum bridge has pulled it back a little bit, and no fault of our own, that was Poly's, um, that was Poly issue, and 
we just need to take out with a pinch of salt so I would buy anything at 10 cent. If we're looking for take profits and, and areas where we think we could accumulate, then obviously the first level is here. This is a region where we rejected off. You look here, I've put this green band on before. It's a level of re uh, resistance there, um, and also a level of support, resistance, resistance, resistance. So that is the first major area around 13 cents. So maybe if you're looking for um, a little bit of a sell, you could potentially wait for a, a drive up here, sell, Come back, maybe look for some 382 regions and then go up and target this next region here. Um, but for me, that is the first sell zone. I mean, if you're looking for another sell zone, you got 15.4 cents. But what I want to do with this project is just put a little bit of price prediction on there. I think this, in terms of supply, tokenomics and overall fundamentals, has got massive, massive growth ahead of it. And when I put these Fibonacci extensions on, I still don't think these are good levels to aim for. I think we're going to, we can look a lot higher. So if we look up here, we've got 38 cent, 58 cent, 74 cent is where I've put a bit of a price prediction over the course of the next few months. And then we've got 93 cent and 1.4 cent. For me though, if we just take a look at the tokenomics, we can see that we only have 12.5 billion in circulation. If you involve that in market cap, that would only show is that we have 1.3 billion. So it does show that there's a good potential room for growth. At one dollar, we would only be valued at 12.5 billion. And then if you take a look at the entire market cap, if you look at 12 billion dollars, scroll down and right inside it. 12 billion dollars would be around here at Chainlink and Terra and Avalanche. Avalanche is a layer one project, Solana layer one project, Polkadot layer one project. I honestly think that it honestly can push up towards these levels and it's a far superior asset to Dogecoin. It's a far superior asset to, to XRP. Um, do, I mean, you've got USD coin here, but I won't worry about that. I think this is a, a multiple dollar asset at some stage. So these price predictions here, um, in terms of Fibonacci levels, could be blown out of the water. And I'm expecting, like I say, a multiple dollar uh, Zilliqa at some stage. And I've put a $2.27 price target on that towards the end of this cycle whether that's the end of this year or going in towards the beginning of q1 i think it can make it but let's see let's see what goes on we've got nfts we've got the ethereum bridge we've got a hell of a lot going on we've got a solid team and um, singaporeans just smashing out on twitter so fingers crossed we can get um, some great pumponomics on this going in towards the, the end of this year that's going to do it for today's video if you're new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and I'll catch you next time.